All right, Coach Calhoun, tell me a little bit about how it's been uh, getting this group together so far. Uh, Anna, we feel pretty confident about this team. Um, you know, the kids have worked really hard in the offseason. We had a little bit of a jump start taking our trip to Canada, uh, having 10 practices. So I feel like we're a little bit ahead of the game, but you never know until you play a real game. But that experience was really good for us. Uh, having six guys coming back that's been in our program, uh, with five guys that played in Jamel Morris that sat out, got a chance to practice every day. So we feel for the first time we have some real depth uh, with our basketball team. How much of that trip to Canada was X's and O's benefit? How much was a chemistry benefit? I think it was both. Um, you know, when you're bringing, we brought in uh, seven new guys, uh, four freshmen, three transfers. So from a chemistry standpoint, it really helped. Uh, from a basketball standpoint, it was it was instrumental in the development of this team because we got 10 extra practices. What about uh, the experience that's coming back? What are they trying to impart to the new players about this league and competing at Fairmont State, competing for championships? I think any time you bring in a couple of Division One transfers, it takes those guys a few games to understand that the level's pretty good. Uh, so I think our guys have really tried to tell them uh, how good our league is. You know, not only. Uh, you got West Liberty is going to be good again, but I, I think the league, the whole landscape of our league has changed. Uh, and I think it starts with our presidents in our league. You look at all the different facility upgrades, you look at Glenville State, you look at what we've been able to do. Uh, it's really going to take our, pro you know, our programs to another level. You mentioned the facility. Tell me a little bit about some of the upgrades there that uh, will enhance the fans' experience. I think it's going to be a great experience. You know, We've spent over a million dollars uh, on our uh, gymnasium, brand new floor. Uh, all new lower level chair backs, new lighting. Uh, it's going to be a great, great venue. Tell me a little bit about some of the key players that you're going to be leaning on. I know you have depth, but the, you know when it comes down in that uh, late in the second half, who are some players that you expect to be leaning on? Well, Adam, I think our three seniors, uh, the three kids that are here today, you look at Chase Morgan, he's been on our program uh, three years, seems like he's been there forever. Uh, he's won a lot of games for us, has made a lot of big shots. And then you look at Nick and Brandon, two, two guys that uh, have great experience. Uh, Nick Hardy playing at the University of Akron, being in NCAA tournament games. Uh, so he has great experience in Brandon, uh, coming from Winthrop, a very, very good program, played for Pat Kelsey. So we're excited about those guys. I think those three guys will really lead this team. But Sham Godwells, Caleb Davis, those kids, Thomas Winbush, you know, the freshman of the year last year, those kids have really gotten better. We talked about the returning players telling the Division One transfers what the league is like. What can the Division One transfers maybe teach the the other the other returning well, players? Well, Nick's been one of our most vocal guys, which has been been terrific. Uh, you know, playing in uh, you know the MAC conference is a great conference. Playing in the NCAA tournament a couple times with Akron, he has great experience. Been to a lot of different places, so I think our guys like to hear those stories. And, you know, he's, he's done a nice job of leading our team. From an X's and O's standpoint or from a coaching standpoint, what do you all need to work on and do to maybe improve upon last year, which was a very good season still? Yeah, you know, we won 20 games, but we weren't happy with that. Uh, I think any time you get left, left out of the NCAA tournament, you feel as a program, as a university, you should have got in uh, the big dance. I think our kids use that as motivation uh, in the off season to really get better, work on their bodies. Um, so, you know, our goal is to get back to the NCAA tournament uh, and, and eventually win some games in the NCAA tournament like we did the first year. What do you expect to see from other teams taking you on? Maybe you're a little bit of an unknown with some new players, but what do you expect to face? I think uh, coaches will notice we're a different team. We have a lot of depth. We're going to play 10, 11 guys, uh, press uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the time. Uh, I think our depth is our biggest strength as a basketball team, so we're going to use it. All right, good.